Twelve jurors are seated and attorneys are now questioning potential alternates to hear evidence in the murder trial of a former UC police officer, Ray Tenzing, fatally shot Sam DeBose during a traffic stop in July of last year. Local 12's Perry Shively has the latest on the first day of jury selection. One thing we learned today from the defense is that former UC police officer Ray Tenzing does plan to testify in this case, and when he does, it will be before a jury of his peers selected from the general public. 45 potential jurors are here at the courthouse today. They were questioned by both the prosecution and defense. The prosecution started the morning off by asking if anyone has heard about this case. Then, has anyone not heard about the case? Followed by, have any of you already formed an opinion and a few people said that they may have a tough time deciding this case and this is a really tough case to seat a jury because of the attention that it's already received. Ray Tenzing of course is charged with murdering Sam DeBose last year during an off campus traffic stop and when the jurors arrived this morning they had to wait in the security line while protesters were outside. They were from Black Lives Matter Cincinnati calling for justice for DuBose. We're at a point where uh, as we've said many times enough is enough. Uh, oftentimes police get uh, indicted and they go to court and either the the end result disappears in long in elongated uh, trials or the cop gets off and we're not we're not going to accept that. It's unacceptable. Anything less than a conviction with jail time is unacceptable. Those protesters say that they plan to be here every day that the case is in court, and that could be a long time because what they're saying right now is it could be as long as November 18th, but attorneys on both sides say they don't think it will take that long. Downtown Perry Shibley, Local 12 News.